Ah, uh, my cursor's a mouse. I mean, my cursor's a face, is what I mean to say. Okay. This is gonna be odd. So, today we're trying the Norwood Sweet, as requested by Patreon subscriber Nox. Who I believe is the sauce, I'm pretty sure is the same person that requested before Off Peak, which was another game by this company who makes strange, strange games. We'll see if there's anything resembling- I don't remember if you- I can't remember if you could beat the last game or not. I think you just kind of wandered around for a bit and saw stuff. Oh, the thing with the train though. That might have been an ending. I can't remember if that was actually an ending or not. But yeah, if you want to look that up, it was Off Peak. P-E-A-K. Played that probably like a year ago or something. That sounds like some unsafe driving back there. I just fell out of the sky. <laughs> and so we arrive at our destination. Always click to advance dialogue spoken to you. The Hotel Norwood. I left a hotel voucher for you at the cave up the hill. That's a normal place to leave things. Present it at the front desk. It'll get you a free room. Trust me, you'll fit right in. The payment won't be wired t to you until tomorrow. Oh, that's the speaker. One thing to know about the Hotel Norwood. Everyone's looking for something that here. So in a sense, it's not just me you're working for. Good luck. We believe in you. Peter Norwood, notable pianist, was the original owner of this estate. After his disappearance in 1983, the place got turned into the hotel in his name. All sorts of characters stayed here. Some even lived here for years. A few of those folks might still be lingering. That voucher will take you further than many who have come before you. Ha! I too stayed here a while back, even before it became a hotel. Memories of long nights in the old, damp rooms. The music was great, sure, world class. But my history with this place is, is better left in the rear view. I think she's just done talking now. Nope. Oh, she's looping now. Gotcha. Got a chocolate bar in her hand, hanging out the door. Got a speaker thrumming at her through the, out of the wall. Ah. Got a boat on top. I wonder if over there is where the last game took place, since it was a- I believe it was in the middle of a city. It was like a train station last time. Hello, creepy man in the woods who looks also like he's gargantuan. They are done with me. But also, they clearly are floating above the street, like, significantly. Yeah, these are very budget titles, with like, really- oh, a train! Almost like a callback to the previous game, between the city and the train. Or ne or next game? I don't remember. I think- no, I think Off-Peak might have come out first, but I don't actually know. Or I, I think I knew at some point, then forgot. Hello, creepy tree. Ah. Cosmo D presents the Norwood Suite. Neat. The items can be picked up. A cyclist helmet. Press tab to open your backpack and select the helmet. Right click to return the item to your backpack. Gotcha. Hey, I think I've seen you from somewhere. I, what did she say? I lost it. 
We... Oh, do I have to stand further back? We should have never taken that. We should have never taken the left turn, Hans. But look where we are, Marge. The Norwood... The Hotel Norwood. The Hotel Norwood? You usually don't act so surprised. I read about this place a few times. Music history textbooks, album liner notes, the name Norwood comes up a lot. Well, here it is, a big black star on the map. You're not gonna find this place on any new maps, Hans. Well, maybe I wanted to find this place. But Hans, why? Dr. Bogart's party, of course. Tonight's the 300th show. Please, why did you really want to take me here? I have my reasons, Margie. Well, should we at least get a room? We can't afford a room. Hans, it's too late at night to be frugal. You understand, this place. It's not exactly a hotel where you just get a room. Look, I'm sorry we stayed at that one hotel, but that charged by the hour, okay? I for I already forgave you for that. DJ Bogart will get us through the night. Otherwise, this place is just too expensive for us. A year ago, wouldn't have you wouldn't have said that. A year ago, I couldn't have taken bike trips like this. I'd still be at the office crunching numbers for the modulo. You keep trying to convince yourself you did the right thing by leaving. Five years I gave to that company. But when I quit, people kept asking, are you really sure? What they meant is, are you really okay? And the truth is, Margie, I think they're here. Your ex-colleagues from Modulo? A few of their reps are here on some kind of business trip. And it wasn't a coincidence we just happened to take that left turn. They're up to something, Margie. Hans, we take these long rides to clear your head. And now you're right back where you started. Wherever you go. There you are, Margie. We better get to see DJ Bogart tonight, Hans. Double sigh. What an odyssey. Hey, I think I've seen you before somewhere. People respond to any item you're holding. Activate an item by pressing- Oh yeah, this guy probably dropped this helmet. Nice, you got my helmet. Thanks, I'll take that off your hands. Are you gonna actually wear it now? That looks, uh, ta-da. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks again for providing my helmet. Yeah, I'd rather not buy you another one. This sport takes dedication. Ugh. We want to go to this party tonight. Yeah, I'm a big DJ Bogart fan. I listen to his mixes when I'm in the woods. I drink a lot of Blue Moose and know they're the sponsors of this place. I'm not sure we have the right attire, Hans. I don't- I'm not sure that- that that fucking helmet can fit on your head. Look how big his helmet is, and look how big your helmet is. Yeah, they don't just let anyone in. What about this helmet? You might need something more elaborate. Are those eyelashes? She has like yellow, eye gold, eye yellow or gold eyelashes, and he has red eye eyelashes. I guess. Wait, those are unicycles. Wait, they came here on unicycles. The music is such a trip in these games. It's it's a really neat, strangely off kilter thing. Buttons can be pushed. Apple. Notice, due to recent incidents on Lover's Bridge, the bridge will remain closed until further notice. Nadia, management. Hey, train. Not going very fast, are you? That's how you move levers, apparently. Hurdle. Hurdle's got a chody ass neck. Some doors need keys. Ah.
Ah, there's the voucher. And whatever... Gate control battery. Oh, this is the cave they were talking about. I thought I had to go find a cave. There's a ceiling fan in the cave, because of course there is. Bonkers ass universe. Oh, what? Okay. The wall statues. They're harmonizing. The fuck? <laughs> Greetings, stranger. I can see you picked up that voucher there. Good. You'll need to get a room at the hotel. Dottie and Sandra are at the front desk. They'll help you check in. Well, they'll try anyway. And my brother Dustin, he runs the concierge. He'll help you with anything else. Just as a warning though, people might mistake you for one of the staff. Don't take it personally, you just have the look. You might even want to consider lending a helping hand. We could use it. Dustin at the concierge will guide you there. Real professional operation here at the Norwood. Ha! Just don't tell Nadia I said that. $550 a day, goddamn. There's a map. We're in Pennsylvania? Or is this just a general map of the world? I guess it's the cover, so we're not necessarily in Pennsylvania. Can I open it? You picked an active night to drop in the hotel, stranger. This party tonight downstairs in the hotel basement. DJ Bogert's about to play, play his 300th consecutive weekend gig. Think about it. A show every weekend. The guy's a machine. I remember when we had to beg for gigs. He said they'd, la they'd laugh him out of the city. But Nadia, in her infinite wisdom, gave him a shot. Sees things the rest of us don't, that Nadia. She knew he'd put the Hotel Norwood back on the map. And that's why she gets that nice, cushy office, and I'm stuck watching over the damn parking lot. Well, I don't- do I try not to sound bitter about it, huh? For me, it all started with a long hike and a wrong turn. I walked through the front doors up yonder, no idea who Norwood was or anything. By my luck, people thought I worked here, so I played along. I'm still playing along. Aw, oh, shit. I remember my first weekend here. The office over-ordered a supply of butter. It came to us in this massive 20-foot cube. So some of the guests started to get to use it as a slide. Human bodies carving out a butter mountain. Gross. Fucking gross. Okay, we're looping. Human bodies carving out a butter mountain. I don't like that sentence. Never say it again. I'm out. Goodbye. I think the front entrance is up there. Who are these people? Congratulations on your promotion, Lucy. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I honestly didn't see it coming. That's the third one in the last, what, two years? I'm not really doing anything that remarkable, Courtney. Nako would disagree. Oh, that Nako. Really, you can't stop singing your praises at meetings. Well, I gotta hand it to my team of assistants. Then I get the pay raise you are, Lucy, remember that. Their turn is coming. Maybe it's come already. I can't do this high-level data analysis without them, Courtney. Well, in that case, would you like to redistribute your raise so they get a share? Oh, absolutely not. Then accept my congratulations and have a drink on me. <laughs> you know I don't drink, Courtney. Not even a can of Blue Moose. They're practically swimming in it up here. You can thank Doc DJ Bogart for that. After this weekend, his party here will be history. I want to enjoy that Blue Moose. Alan Miranda's got nothing on me. I do think we're still over... 
Whatever it is, Miranda's certainly going to exploit it. Let me put you at ease, Lucy. In the last three months, I've taken numerous meetings with Nadia, buttered up the staff. I got the influence to make up the board itself. Isn't that a bit underhanded? Everyone has their place, Lucy. Okay, now I really need some blue moose. He looks drunk off his ass. Ah, service at last. The Hotel Norwood will serve their guests anywhere on the grounds, Lucy. Are you sure this person's even affiliated with the, the Hotel Courtney? Absolutely, in fact. Could you bring us a six pack of blue moose? I'm parched. You know you could get in trouble for harassing other guests, Courtney. Nonsense. Oh boy. Blue moose, please. But just so we're clear, the Modulo is not tipping staff this weekend. Any tips, you can take it up with Nadia. You worked out a no-tipping no policy with Nadia already? I think it's important that the transition starts preemptively. You really that confident about the board meeting, huh? And I'll, I'll be even more confident if I get some blue moose in my gullet. <clears throat> you seem nice. Look at all these cars. Why don't they just go inside? Why are they out here? It must be company cars. They all have the same percentage mark on it. Party transport. Zzzt. This is thoroughly strange. Visually, it's, a little, it's often a good example of getting a lot out of a little. Like, these are... On paper, these are like really iffy visuals, but they combine into like a bizarre, entertaining, like ensemble of whatever's happening here. But on a technical level, it's really minor. Peter Norwood. Due to recent incidents on Loner's Cliff, the cliff will, trail will remain off limits to further notice. Nadia. Oh, there was an elevator. To go up and down. Neat. Good wheel wheelchair access. But some 35 odd years ago, Peter Norwood was last seen sitting here at this very piano. No offense, but can we get to the point, Miss Davis? Go on, Miss Davis, I'm listening. On this record, we'll be hearing the Norwood Sweet F. The real seal coming from... Never heard of it. Betsy, you didn't watch that video Miss Davis assigned us, did you? You don't need to watch old videos to play this stuff, Ellie. I feel it's important to gain historical context to the music we play, especially Norwood's music. Can we get on with it then? I have to pee. Like DJ Bogart's dance party downstairs, Betsy? Ladies, I have to pull a lot of strings to- Okay, this- it's coming- it's going too fast. I can play this stuff in my sleep. Look, if you want to pass the class, you're gonna to need to, my full attention tonight. But we still need a record needle if we're going to listen to anything. I already asked the front desk, and they're sending someone to get it for us. Okay, so they need a, they need a, they need a needle. Ooh. Do we need to collect all of the other ones in order to play that sequence? I got to find the other, other notes. Um. Is that a puzzle solution, or is it art? <laughs> This one might be more of a puzzle game, or at least an adventure game, where it sounds like you're supposed to go around and collect certain things and give them to different characters. Whereas the first game was kind of just like a experience to walk around in. Do not touch. You say that, but... Oh. For display purposes only, any attempt to perform this music may result in serious injury. <gasps> Gimme. I like serious injury and music. Ooh. There's an area over there. There's an opening we'd had in there.
Sometimes looking entertaining is more important than looking good. And that's kind of what's accomplished here, is that this, this is... Nothing if not entertaining to look at. It's bizarre. Just across the board. It's so strange. The walls are covered in music notation. And numbered lockers. That can't seem to open. 40 lockers. Here's the room we saw earlier. I guess it's the pool. No lifeguard on duty. And those are permanent signs. There's just never a lifeguard on duty, apparently. The pool straw thing. I like to steal keys. The Modulo Company Handbook. Here, welcome to your new family. Here at Modulo, teamwork and collaboration are the golden threads in our company's cultural fabri fabric. Still, that doesn't mean everyone arrives at Modulo fully able to function alongside fellow high-level collaborators. This book, written with assistance from leading pop psychologist Bernie Moomin, lays out the foundations for which we all, all modulators can thrive. Thrive. Pretty sure his eyes are open. He's t he's just ignoring me. Even more lockers. Check out these reels. That's three swim. Hello. Got a kitchen. Yeah, their ways of making smoke and stuff seem to just be a series of of O's going up, soaring like a piano note. Fish, Majesty ski masks, do dig. What? Oh, chocobo eggs or something. Apron must be worn at all times. Apron, come on. <laughs> Giving out free samples is forbidden. This is your food processing area. Please wear your uniform at all times. Hand washing is mandatory. Bruce. She flips his bow his bowing vertical at a zoo. Question me for the tentacles. My friend's bean joint. The rough smiling fortune farmer commands frog dialysis. Plentiful rascals basking eternally around Butter Mountain. Bowling dog was finding mischief. Teacher under a library. Disco rum and pancakes are boop are bossy. <laughs> Software zap. Flight mapping egg whites restore identity. Hurrah! For all I know, these are all foreshadowing about narrative elements. Because like they all sound like like just noise, but one of these has already been contextualized. Yeah, plentiful rascals basking eternally around Butter Mountain. Like, we've already heard about the Butter Mountain. That's a thing. So maybe they're all a thing. The sink for washing hand, uh, hand, for hand washing only. Same here. The sign's bigger than the other one for less text. Food wash only. Wear hairnets, wear hairnets, wear hairnets. There's some excessive signing around here. Every room has a different song. Now and then. What? They're laid out like they're on a piano. Look at that. Look at that. What an idea. The bowling pins are a lie. 
Oh, it's a series of hands. It's like a Syriac cartoon. Creepy. Shelly, we need to call it a night. You haven't slept in over a week. As long as the blue moose keeps flowing, I'm gonna stay up. Besides, I need to have an utterly thorough case for tomorrow's board meeting. You're really unsure about this one, huh? Last I checked, this meeting is just a formality. Hotel management's gonna roll over on us for when they see our final offer. But Nadia keeps pushing Courtney to raise that offer. Meanwhile, Alan Miranda's at the bar next door, ready to pounce. He knows something we don't. I wouldn't worry. We've got all the Modulo's resources at our disposal. But Miranda always sways board meetings like these in his favor. And he does it by coming at the issue from a crazy angle. Remember that? Remember that that Bruno and Joe's... Blah, 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 blah. Four years ago, I, I was all set to buy... A, a lot of us were. But then Miranda gave us this impassioned argument about friend... Fried clams? Totally flipped the housing committee from yes to an unanimous no. To this day, that restaurant is still sinking up the waterfront. Mmm, fried clams. I'm pretty hungry. Same here. Got a real case of the munchies. Isn't that kitchen still open? Mmm. I wish you could click to proceed with dialogue that you're not part of. Because, like, you you could click on them from here, and they could just re interact, interact with it differently. Because having them go at their own rate is kind of annoying. Because I keep losing track of what they're saying. Food. I like what I see. Y'all hot for me? I got a turkey. The focus on making that sandwich, stranger. Oh, I have to make a whole sandwich for you. Fucking... I see. Bananas. Sandwich baking station must remain clean at all times. How do I meet? Oh, there we go. Was it slice omatic? I'm gonna get murdered. Oh, just gonna back up a little bit. Several slices of golden turkey. Boop. All right, I just need the rest of the food now. Oh my god. Ah! Cheese. A ball of mozzarella. I didn't wash my hands. A head of cabbage, some tomato. Pretzel top bun. Is there a correct placement order for these items? Bananas. I'm gonna put banana on the tomato sandwich. People would love it. No, not yet. Tomatoes. Cheese. This order won't necessarily make sense. I don't know. I don't know much about the correct way to make sandwiches. I just kind of do whatever, but I've heard people talk like there's a correct answer. There we go. I just unlocked an achievement called Disciple of the Deli, and for some reason that achievement is a dog. And I don't know why it's a picture of a dog. Because that's not any of the elements I did. I didn't make a dog sandwich, and I'm not talking to dogs. Let's check what's in it. Let's check this out. What, did I fuck it up? A warm, fresh slab of gold- of oven gold turkey. Tender and delicious. Creamy, farm-fresh mozzarella cheese. Mouth-meltingly marvelous. A crunchy slice of hearty cabbage. Part of the balance. A juicy tomato dripping with flavor. Sliced impeccably. I'm impressed, stranger. You really know how to make a sandwich. You didn't leave out a single ingredient. You want to split this? Sure. I'll be up in the library. I want to get some special hot pepper flakes for your from the room. You always bring a jar of hot of Hova's hot peppers, huh? I have them with every meal. I'll get them from the room and meet you later. Room 206, by the stairs? Yes, room 206. Actually, I just need a few minutes to ease out of this comfy chair. 
too comfortable given the the work we've got to do tonight. Now oh, I got 209. I cannot wait to sw to sway the board in our favor. Ah, another one of these guys. That sandwich is gonna taste like home. Aw, what a compliment. That's nice. Boogie woogie. I think I'm- because I, I went through the soundtrack of the first the game I played by them- by him, and I think, uh, I think Norwood Sweet or something like that was, uh, one of the songs. Definitely a heavy fixation on music and strange adventure gamey, explorery, walking simulatory video game styles. Strange, you look like a bartender to me. Who? I can dig this kind of music a lot. They're just throwing it all away then. Certainly not, Dad. I just. I got distracted. And I was on my client's deadlines. And here I thought you'd finish your string quartet this weekend. Well, the agency called today. They need five versions of Happy Mouth by Sunday. What do they want with that awful song? It's for a Saturn Noodle's birthday. What a shame, June. I mean, money is money, and I can't really say no. Okay, I've, I've done a lot of dialogue so far. Let's, let's try to explore a bunch of the place, since we only have so much time. It's a $10 game, so I don't think I'm going to be burning through the entire experience in one sitting right now. That's a body type. Huh. He looks like a Borderlands character. Hi! Reading about spiders. The official spiders book about spiders. Is that an- wow. What is up with Norwood? A piano key. <gasps> For the note C. Right, I saw that weird painting and I thought I was going to interact with it, but then I just walked away. Oh my god. So that's what we do if we want to play the note. That's upside down now. If we want to be able to play the notes, we need to find all of the weird... What the fuck? I didn't lose my inventory. It's a whole... It's like a security gate covered in grabby hands, which is so fucking creepy. But uh, I thought they would steal my inventory. Like you can't go past the spot with inventory from outside of this place was a thought that came to mind. Hmm. Rabbit. I keep walking around this room and this guy is standing by the window. You know, I really don't care how far below my pay grade it is. Board meeting tomorrow. Taking a photo is recording of audio video is strictly prohibited. Oopsie. Don't tell the creators that this video exists, because I'm doing that stuff. I'm being a cheaty boy. Can you click on any part of that to make it move? I was wondering if we could press Norwood up there. That's another music notation. There's a lot of little hints about music notation everywhere. Where I'm betting that if you play that music that you find everywhere, it might do different things at the piano. This definitely seems to be more gameplay focused iteration than off peak. There's an inventory and there's puzzles and there's quests, essentially. Hmm. I'm only missing like one of them, huh? Ah, uh, one over there too. 
All the ones that are already on it don't even seem to be interactive. Doesn't he look like a weird, like, cartoon version of the, the sheriff from Deadly Premonition? I bet the light's fading on as a way to hide the loading. Die, computer. Let's go down. This is supposed to be where the performance is, right? Downstairs. Why are you wearing a strange hat? You're gonna need a fully assembled costume if you want to enter this party, bub. Whoa. I don't think we're getting in then. Thought we'd be in by now. Shoes. Bananas. Ah, your, your face butterfly moves and it's freaking me out. We'll never get in, says Hamburger Face. Why are you wearing a shipping container on your head? This is delightfully strange. This is just so horrifying to look at. They didn't stop me. They looked, they looked like they were trying to stop me. So I got 209. That should be around here. Nope. My father was one of the uh, Peter's favorite musicians. He stayed here every summer. Oh. Damn. What? Did the whole- did the whole thing just move or something? The fuck is happening? What? Is this the backstory of the, these characters? The guy back there and Norwood or something? Whoa. What? I really, I really dig the music. I really do. Majima? No, no, not quite. What is happening? Hey, that's a picture from Off Peak. That's the entrance. Neat. Sweet library. They're playing a completely baffled board game. And why do their books look wet? <laughs> Looks strange. What are, these, what are these boards? Exploring an alien space. Shelly said she'll be back with those pepper flakes. But she hasn't returned from our room. Oh, you're the person that I made a sandwich for. Whoa. That's just kind of cool art. Uh. No, they're probably just candles. I, for a minute there, I'm like, are those teeth? And that was made the chandelier really distressing to look at. Oh, this person's mad.
They seem very mad. I heard, I just heard like a, a wood saw. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. The chant lifted the shadow, the limb of the oriental and the book. What the fuck? Here we are. Everything in this room is upside down. The doors are upside down, the furniture is upside down, I'm walking on the ceiling. And there's dance steps on the ceiling, which is the floor. What in the world? There's the... the light. Norwood's jacket. What happens when I press this? Sure, what else? Of course. This is such a cool looking hallway each time it happens. They're playing their music for the turtle. And then the turtle grew up. It's their favorite turtle. It's the turtle's family. <laughs> ah, that's deeply unsettling. I didn't like that. Ah. Ah. Ah, the wall just opened up to this. That's really creepy. Ah. These bizarre, like, non-Euclidean non spaces. What is happening? Is this the pool? It is. Alright, well that's a fantastic note to end this on, I think. This is bizarre. So if you'd like to check out the Norwood Suite, and I imagine some of you would, you can check out the link in the description to go to the Steam page and try to unpack what the hell is happening here. Thanks for watching like always, guys. Thank you to the developer for sending me a code so I could preview their game. And I'll see you guys next time.